I would just love to know what part of that date made him feel like I can't it be trusted. Yeah. Because it's like... Oh, girls, I think we're going to find out. I'm riled up. And with that, the time has come to descend to the trap room, where the girls will shortly discover that one of them will be leaving the mansion via a trap door. Which means David will have no way of finding out if they're a match or a trap. But before David decides who that will be, they will have one last chance to convince him that they're here for love. Hello, girls. Welcome to a very special room in the depths of the house. This is known as the trap room. And you're about to find out why. David, you have three suspects in front of you, and you're about to pick which of those you think is a love trap. That person will immediately leave the house. They won't be leaving through the front door. They will be leaving through a trap door. What? You're still on trap doors right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did not expect to be going through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> have any of you been through a trap door before? Can't say I have. No. <laughs> it's a weird question. <laughs> David, why have you picked these three suspects? Uh, at least. When we chatted last night, you didn't seem to be able to give me a straight answer about anything. I felt like you were being a bit cagey. That's kind of the main reason why I thought you might be a disingenuous. I'm here to find a genuine connection with someone. We haven't quite had that one-on-one -on -one yet. And I think if we did have that and you got to know me for me, I really think that you'd think the skill's genuine. And obviously, I'd like the opportunity to get to know you as well. You can't fake being genuine. Well, there's four people here trying to do just that. <laughs> Cherie, you seemed really just unfazed by everything. And when we spoke this morning, and you were telling me your story of your ex, like, if I was in your situation, I would have probably been crying telling that story. What had happened with my ex, how you thought that I should have been a little bit more, like, emotional about it. For me, I've done a lot of, like, self-love and healing. So the person who I was two years ago is not the person who I am now, so, yeah. You've gone through all of that pain, and you come out and you're like, a new woman on the other side, if, if, if that is true, then that is really impressive. I personally couldn't do that. And then, Chloe, our date went great. Mm -hmm. You know, you're a dancer, you're intelligent, you look great. When we had a little chat last night about maybe thinking Demi might be a little trap, which made me think, oh, is she just saying that to, like, put me off the yeah. set? You asked me a question, so I answered it. Thought it was, like, a nice first date. So I was just like, oh, maybe I, did, maybe I didn't come across as genuine as I thought I did, but yeah. um, I definitely didn't mean to if that was the case. Can you look me dead in the eye and tell me that you haven't got a boyfriend or a husband? I have not got a boyfriend or a husband or a fiancé or anything in that category. <laughs> Nothing. Shuri? I don't have a boyfriend, fiancé, not in a situationship, nor an entanglement. And then Chloe. I would 100% not be here if I was in a relationship. David, who do you think is a love trap.
Shirik. Elise, how are you feeling? I'm very happy that I get a chance to actually prove it. <laughs> but very sad. She's not dead. No, I know. It's fine. Chloe, how are you feeling? I look forward to hopefully getting to know you a bit more, showing you that I am genuine. OK, girls, well, it's up to you to try and convince David that you are who you say you are. Otherwise, you'll find yourself back here. Head back upstairs. Hi, guys. That was intense. I've also got something else to tell you, David. When the girls go through the trap door, you won't find out whether they're a trap or not. <sighs> that makes it really difficult now, yeah. doesn't it? It really does. So I can't even whittle them down one by one and then rest assured that I've picked the right people. <laughs> Do you think you've made the right choice? Well, I really hope so, mate. I'll tell you that. I really hope so. You can, uh, can head back upstairs. Thank you. I'm just going to go yeah, through Yeah, walk around here. it if I was you. I'm so happy I present this show. I'm not on it. It's kind of like saying, I don't trust I, you. I don't trust you. I, I've got my... Oh, oh my God! Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> Chloe's back. Elise is back. Can't wait to hear all about it. What happened? <laughs> right, tell us everything. You Spell are the literally not, not going to believe. We thought all no. the bombs had been dropped. Honestly. What's happened? So he says her name. And she literally, right, we're all just stood on this floor and she just falls through the floor. Fell through the floor? Oh, no. Fell <laughs> through the floor. Like, the floor just the floor opens. Just, the floor opens. Jeez. You are down a trap. You, you are lying. No. no. There's a fucking trap door. A trap door. A, a trap door. The floor <laughs> opens and you are gone. She fell through the floor. Do we know if she was a trap? No. No. Oh my God. So we, we still don't know. No. But she definitely went through a trapdoor. <laughs> <laughs> so let's cheers to not falling through the floor tonight. Cheers. <laughs>